So these are the IP address classes. Class A, Class B, Class C, and Class D. So these are the five classes. So these are the five classes. Out of five, Class A, Class B, Class C are a unicast address. Means, meaning is, we can assign IP address to a host or a device. Any name we put it. Okay. We can assign IP address to a host or a device from unique as only. Remember that point. Meaning is, what are the unique as IP addresses? Class A. Class B. Class C. Only. So the range of class A again, 0 to 127. Already I told, if you check it in a Google or a some test work, it shows like this. Which is the correct one? Both are correct one. So total range is 0 to 127. We don't use 0 series and 127 series because of both are reserved for a certain different purposes like a 127 is a loopback or local host IP address 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 is for a for a DHCP um, discovery packet purpose or maybe uh, default root purpose. So different purposes they use 0, .0, .0, .0, .0. So 128 to 191 and class C is 192 to 223. Okay, so why class D, class E is not there? We don't assign to uh, any uh, particular adapter. Okay, so it is multicast addresses reserved for a certain services. Okay, so multicast. Meaning is class D 224 to 239. This particular range, okay, used by some services or protocols and stuff, okay. Like a, uh, for example, WDS, Windows Deployment Service. Windows Deployment Service or a Deployment Services. So what is this? It is a, it is used to install OS to network. So I have a 10 computers. I want to install a operating system in 10 computers through the network. I can install. So that is a WDS services. For example, example, E I E R P. Of course, R A P version two, not a version one. Version two. Version one use broadcast address. Version two use multicast address EISERP RIP version 2 so examples protocols use multicast addressing and stuff including OSPF GP ISIS don't use multicasting it is a direct uh, static binding only okay so these are a main important points so, so used by some services or protocols not for assigning individual devices okay so like this okay so that that's the point I, I i told okay again here one for i point i forget here that's the point i, I will tell again I, I will tell once again uh, i will tell here so how to identify which class of it okay, okay how to identify which class 
uh, uh, IP address is. So it is uh, based on first octet of IP address. So first, that is a very important identify which uh, class of IP address it is. For example, 23 dot uh, 200 dot 127 dot okay uh, one. Which class it is? What is the first octet number? Twenty-three. So twenty-three is range in between zero to one twenty-seven. So it is a class A. Okay. For example, I took a one twenty-three dot one fifth one sixty-eight. That okay, two hundred dot one twenty uh, one twenty. Okay, which class it is? Anyone guess? Check the first octet. Check the first octet. Tell me which class Thank it you. is. Class A only. Okay, so do not think it is small number, big number. It's a class A, then it may be a class B or class C. Okay, look at the range. So 23 in between this range, and 123 is also in between this range only. It is a class A only. Okay. Just I'm putting a small and big one. Now, what is the first octet? 168. 168 is a range in between. Look at here. Class B. So 128, 191. It's a class B. Which class it is? Look at the first first octet first octet range is right so in between 192 to 223 sir so this is how to identify which class it is so identify the first octet identify the first octet okay next you have to find out to find IP address is valid or not. Valid IP address or not. So um, again, I'm dragging time. Okay. So look at each octet, guys. No octet must be is uh, more than uh, 255. So keep it that in mind. So when you look at that IP address, you can understand. Okay, each octet should not be more than 255. So that is the main rule. Main rule. Okay, and uh, IP address should not be start with a zero. And IP address should not be start with a 127. Okay, don't start with a zero. Don't start with a 127. And don't, the first two octets should not be 169.254. 169.254. It is a reserved for an automatic private IP address kind of stuff. Okay. And should not be more than 255 range. Should not be more than 255 range. Highest, you know, each octet is 255. You know, the last IP address. It's 255.255.255.255. Now, what is the first? Not valid, but still. Start with a 0, .0, 0, 0. Okay. Then it is become like this 0, .0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.1. Then it is become. 
So this is the complete range. So this entire range we are divided into classes. The entire range we divide into the classes and each octet is not more than 255. And do not start with the zero, do not start with the zero, and do not start with the 127. And this is never be. This, is, this should not be like 169.254. So this is the main basic rules. This is how to identify a class. Next, guys. IP address divided into host portion and a network portion. Okay, see. For example, I have a PC, example PC1, PC2 is there. Okay, if, okay, so PC1 and PC2 are connected. They are connected. Okay, then uh, IP address configured. IP address is also there. So only the thing is if the IP address network portion has to be same. Remove this if okay the IP address uh, of the IP address, the network portion must be same for PC1 and PC2. Okay, so then only both systems can communicate. Okay, the point is the network portion must be. Same. Host portion is different. So what is this network and host portion, guys? Look at here. Network and host. Okay, it is like a uh, you know floor, floor and a room type. Okay, floor and a room type. Look at floor and room. Okay, so that is the example I am giving. It is see look at 401, fourth floor. 403, 4th floor, okay, 201, 2nd floor, 202, 2nd floor, uh, 304, 3rd floor, 306, 3rd floor, means each floor is identified by first number. Each floor is identified by first number, right? Not a second number. The second number, the second part represent room number. Second floor, first room. Second floor, second room. Third floor, fourth room. Third floor, sixth room. Fourth floor, first room. Fourth floor, third room. It represents like this. Same goes for a network and host. Network and host. You, you can take an example like a pin numbers. You can take a pin numbers. So four four uh, uh, something like a uh, four four zero zero. Um, uh, uh, sorry four one zero uh, zero five two. So in a Pune, so one place. So in a, around the Karve Nagar Varje. It is uh, one of the place. Okay.
Okay. So four one zero uh, zero zero four, for example, this is like a Aranda Ben in a Pune, but both represents Pune, different areas, but single main place that is Pune, right? So same thing. Uh, I'll go for a Hyderabad four zero 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 one six. In Hyderabad, some place. Five, sorry, five zero zero uh, zero uh, seven two. In Hyderabad, this is another place. Okay, but both are. This is a Pune. This is Hyderabad. Same thing goes for Chennai, Bangalore. Uh, means uh, Tamil Nadu uh, or Kerala. What are the state it is? Okay, so state areas. So based on area state, the numbers are different. Only it is the this portion represents which state in that which in that state uh, which area it is. This is a, a is a most a, a, like a it represents uh, which town it is like first town, second town, third town like that it is. It is there. You know my place it is uh, five three zero. Uh, 046. This is my area. Okay, so it's uh, it's reference my area. It is you know Vishakhapatnam one place. Five three means Vishakhapatnam. Five zero zero. It is a first uh, main state uh, of uh, Andhra Pradesh. It is earlier, so that is why it is five zero zero. Okay, five three represent Vishakhapatnam, right? So this is also uh, for understanding of network and Post portion. So the point is, network portion must be same, and host portion is varies. Varies. A simple put, not vary. Easy, easy. Okay. So each IP address is divided into network and host portion. Each IP address divided into Network and host portion. Identify whether what is a, it's a network portion or not. So easy to understand. Again, we'll take this one. I'm removing this. Colon. The first portion. If you are using a class A, the first portion is network portion. If you are using a class B. The first two portions are network portions and then host portion. If it is a class C, network, 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 and host portion. Okay. And also, it is a, there is a default subnet mask represent the network portion and the host portion by the default subnet. So uh, I can go over a, a more depth explanation, but it's okay. This is a network portion and host portion, but important is this is default. Net mass. What is this subnet mass? That is important. Divides. IP address into network and host portions, or we can say tells network ID from IP address. Given idea. So that is what subnet mask it is. Okay. So look at here. So I'm taking some uh, one IP address 192.168.110.10, for example. This is my um, this is my IP address. What is the host portion? This is the host portion. This is a class C. So first three are a Host portion, uh, sorry, first three are network portions. First three are a network portion. This is host portion. 
last one is first person. You know, 192 dot, 168 dot, 10 dot, 11. This is PC1. This is PC2. PC1, PC2, both can be able to communicate. For example, PC3, 192 dot, 169 dot, 10 dot, 12. So everything is look normal, right? But it is different here. Look at here, there is a small change here. So obviously it won't communicate to other PCs. Again. So this is also won't communicate to PC1 and PC2. Why? Because of it is belongs to some different network. So, for example, this is will communicate each other. So, this will communicate. Okay. PC1 and PC2. So, how? Again, first three portions are same. If this also everything you have to verify. So here it is problem. Here it is problem. So that's why we can't be able to communicate. Okay. Even if it if it is a is a 193, it cannot be able to communicate, guys. That is what you have to look at. So network portion must be same and host portion is different. How systems knows both network portion is same or not based on the subnet mask. Based on the subnet mask. Subnet mask will tell each portion is network portion or not. For example, I take PC1. Uh, this point, guys, uh, there is a deep explanation is there, but I am unable to uh, go for uh, that much of. This is a default subnet mask. By calculating using the AND operation, I will get this one. So I am not explaining AND operation kills a lot of time like this. This is the network ID. So how would we can able to do it? We have to convert this entire number into binary. Again, we have to convert this entire number into binary. Then we have to do end operation between this thing. These two things, you will get this. Okay, so that is by end operation. Up to now, this is enough. Again, I'm telling guys uh, important points what we have discussed in the earlier session and this session and we'll go to the next points also. Again, so what is an IP address? It's a logical address. Simply first point is IP address is a logical address. IP address are used to communicate from one device to another device. What is the use of IP address? IP addresses are used to communicate from one PC to another PC, one device to another device, from one place to another place, we are communicating with the IP address only. All communications by IP address only. Remember that point. Okay. So numerical representation of host uh, of a host or it's a computer or a domain for a network in the, in the network is a IP address we are using. So uniquely identify a device in the network. I put it in the top, but you have to spell it properly or means you have to tell properly then only it become valid. If you said off off, then it is become wrong answer. So that's why I'm keep telling like that. Okay, so easy to way answer how to avoid a wrong answer. Easy to tell the IP address is a logical address. So we are communicating to one. One device to another device using IP address. We are all communicating in the network using IP address only. OK, so when you are sending and receiving, so we are through IP addresses only. OK, so that is.
if you want if you are a, a confidently we want to tell like it's a uniquely identified device in the network so tell completely don't tell off of don't tell uniquely or a unique address if you say unique address it's wrong uniquely identified device in the network and next there is a two versions are there ipv4 ipv6 ipv4 32 bit length ipv6 128 bit length so ipv4 3.4.3 billion ip addresses ipv6 3.4 billion billion billions of ip addresses you need okay it is ipv4 will write in a decimal format ipv6 in hexadecimal format ipv4 okay uh, uh, ipv4 is written in a four octets okay and each octet is divided by dot okay three dots four parts total ip address is divided into four parts each part is uh, called octet and it is separated by it's actually not divided it is separated by dot okay so like this this is an example 192.168.2.11 okay and here in a ipv6 it's a 128 bit in a length so it is uh, each hexadecimal number represent a four binary so then it is a 32 hexadecimal numbers uh, in the one single ipv6 IP6 can be written in a different ways, not like IPv4. IPv6 is more easier. It is look like very big, but it is much easier. Okay, it's a, a simply thing is IPv4. Uh, we earlier days challenge of learning IPv4 that time when I am studying networking time. So there is a big challenge. Uh, we have, again we have to remember all classes and subnet mask. Uh, each of each classes that is the first point ip address ranges and their subnet mask each ip address purpose and their subnet mask network portion host portion and subnetting concepts so after uh, all struggling like one month two months to become a mastering in that ip addresses in the ipv4 part we don't like ipv6 because again we have to learn newly Thing is, if you learn only IPv6, you don't understand IPv4 at all, because that much IPv6 is easy, very easy. Okay, because you don't need to do anything. You want to write this is IPv6. See, look at this is IPv6. Meaning of this IPv6, you know, 000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
like that okay and in ipv6 it is this one okay in ipv6 this is 127.0.0.1 okay again each ip in ipv4 each part is a octet each part is the octet octet means 8 bits 8 bit means it's a 0 to 255 numbers ipv4 is divided into classes five classes okay like this i think uh, on second day today is the wednesday okay so divide into five classes class a class b class c class d 0 to 127 128 to 191 192 to 23 224 to 39 242 255 class c is a rnd we don't assign class c ip addresses to anyone and class c d is a multicast purposes used by certain services and already i told don't use ip addresses starting with 0 and 127 and also there is a IP address range. This is the range of IP addresses. If you are unable to get IP address from DHCP server. So this is, I got IP address from my DHCP server. See, DHCP server address, yes, I got an IP address. If in case my router is off, means my DHCP server is disconnected. I am unable to get an IP address. I am unable to get a IP address. No means it is a static IP. No means it is a static IP. So see, no means it is a static IP address is configured. Yeah, it, it won't be configured here. So no problem. I will change it for you for this particular network. IPv4 properties. See, this is a pre-configured the second option represent manual configuration the first option represent automatic configuration so it is manually you are giving an ip address called a manual ip address first option called a automatic ip address okay this is how to assign ip address guys okay so you want to get ip address you have a router or a dhcp server you want to get ip address from dhcp server first option obtain ip address automatically so how we open simple ncpa.cpl network connection open your network adapter so go to check it it's already static ip address is assigned and go to properties ipv4 just ipv4 properties and it is manually i don't want manual i want to get ip address from dhcp server click ok close and close okay wait for a second and check it for example this is my wi-fi adapter look at this properties ipv4 properties see it is obtained ip address automatically okay i'm checking an ip address of this one details see dhcp enabled yes i got an ip address from my DHCP server. From here, I got IP address. Next, if in case my DHCP server is not working, I will get an IP address like this 169.254.105.87. The last two are can be anything between 0 to 255. Okay, last two are can be anything, but here it is important is it's a class b address 192.250.169.254 okay this is auto configuration this ip address not from dhcp server it is from your system only so your system configured an ip address if you are unable to get ip address from dhcp server or fail to get IP address from DHCP server, anything, you will get an IP address. System will assign an IP address from IP per range. What is the range? 169.254. Like this. Okay. So this is 
about happy part. Guys, this is also a practical part. So look at that one, you will understand. Yeah. Have to go to meeting also. Okay. Any changes? Six members. Anush also given attendance now. Okay, guys, so here it is how to identify their classes and their subnet mask also given. Okay, so and network portion and host portion. This is also important. Now. How to check IP address? You guys are all know IP config. Next is IP config slash all. Okay, next. Uh, and of course, NGY, go to uh, run ncpa.cpl. Okay, so then um, so you can double click. Double click details, you can find it. How to change IP address also I given directly from there. Okay. Any questions uh, regarding networking IP addresses? Okay, so I will try uh, tomorrow uh, either either I will take or a uh, uh, Sizer will take about a service desk guys. I will forward some videos today go through once service desk because you are getting questions basically only service desk questions right okay what is a service desk so main only one question they are asking are you okay with these roles okay so check it what is a service desk and also tomorrow we'll put a one session either me or a sizer will take it okay i will ask today about a sizer in the meeting that's it guys for today